Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Super Mario style fence climbing mechanic that you'll see in Super Mario World, where you can walk along, up, down, left, right, as in eight directional movement if you're overlapping the fence. And if you're not overlapping the fence, you'll have a normal platform mechanic behavior. So you can move left and right and you can jump. If you're overlapping the fence, you still have your platform mechanic behaviors. But if you push up, you'll go into an eight directional movement pattern where you can grab along, move around this fence area. If you fall off the side, you automatically go back to platform. Same on the other side. If you're at the top, you can jump across to the next platform. I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. And before we continue with the video, just a massive thank you and a shout out to my wonderful Patreon and YouTube channel members, Fuzel CC, Olivia, Bernier, Jared Dumont, Retro Galaxy, Matt, Lighting Cat, Jonathan Turner, Seth Goebel, Fan Fan, Martin K, Nikki Harbour, Yanni Boy, Amari Lewis, Ahmad Fermanser, Julian Cruz, Rob, Mood for Cell, Charcoal, Paul Alexanderson, and Nmark Games. Thanks for supporting my game dev journey and for more information about what's on offer in the Patreon, there's a link in the description. So having a look at the event sheet here, you can see that the way I've made this work is quite simple. I only have 13 events. I have two events for the jumping mechanic. One, if the player's state is set to climb, and I have given the player an instance variable, state, string, and I've set it to platform. If the state is equal to platform, which it is by default, then when you press the space bar, we're gonna jump. We're gonna simulate that jump control in the platform behavior. We're gonna set that platform behavior enabled because when we jump off the fence, we wanna enable the platform behavior so gravity kicks in. And we're also gonna set the state of the player to platform. When we jump, if we're in climb mode, then we are gonna set a Y vector on the eight directional movement to minus 800. You can play around with that and put whatever vector in you want based on how much jump you want to add. Then we're gonna wait 0.5 seconds for the jump to kick in and then we're gonna set the platform enabled and set the state back to platform. If the state equals platform, then we're only gonna enable the left and right arrow keys to move left and right. If the state equals climb, we're gonna enable all four directions on the arrow keys. So that's how you stop the arrow keys working when you're not in the climb mode. If the player is overlapping the tile background, which is the fence, when we press up on the keyboard, we're gonna set the state to climb. So we're only gonna set the state to climb if we're intentionally pushing up. And if the player is not overlapping the tile background, then we're gonna set the state back to platform and we're gonna enable the platform behavior. And when you put that together, you get this. And that's how you make a simple Super Mario World style fence climbing mechanic incorporated into a 2D game. Hope that was helpful. If you found the video helpful, then please hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you're enjoying the content and I'll see you in the next video.